I'm debating on if I should have well, the problem with having, maybe if I sit like this, I don't want to block Black Widow out of the shot. <laughs> I just love that that's your, your go-to corner right now. It's <laughs> right there where you have Cap and Black Widow at. This is what every single video that I am sending to like anyone uh, <laughs> that I do business with. It's like, Hi, as you can see, I'm working from home and my coworkers are protecting me from COVID. <laughs> it's the only thing they're good for. Is, uh, oh, man. <laughs> really looking COVID in the eye and threatening them. <laughs> but I'm sure people that don't know me, you know, are like, what? <laughs> what is she doing? Like, is she okay? I'm like, listen, it's a talk piece, you know? Like, you're going to remember my video because. I had the Avengers here with me. They're going to like, we're going to pick her because we have so many questions about the Avengers in the bag. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Good times. I'm never, ever leaving my house again. Oh, no. You got to. No, I don't. That, well, I mean, I don't mind staying. <gasps> there she is. Hi. Hi. Am I early? Well, yes, but that's okay. We we got on here so that we, you know, if you were running early, that we could be here with you. Okay, cool. Great. <laughs> well, hi. <laughs> hi. If you're not ready, we don't have to start yet. Like, if No, it's want. great. It's great. Totally. Let's do it. I, I don't, you know, this is, what a great thing that we can do this now on the internet. But I, you know, usually I have someone doing it all for me. So. Yes. Anyways, I'm early. So, great. So, yay. So, here we are. <laughs> uh, I am, I'm KJ, and this is uh, my producer, Jonna. Hi. And we are very excited to be, uh, to be talking with you. Um, big fan of Suburgatory, so I'm so glad that, uh, that I get to see you on TV again. Uh, and uh, Jonna, actually, in, in our episode that airs tomorrow um we do a lot of uh it's it's a lot of pop culture and we always do our you know our tv picks and jonna's tv pick was zoe's extraordinary playlist so when i got the email last night that we could talk to you i was like oh my god jonna <laughs> we thank have you for picking it. us <laughs> always i love it i love that show that's so nice uh, so I guess, first of all, uh, how are you, you know, health-wise, safety-wise, uh, uh, sanity-wise <laughs> as we quarantine together? I'm good. Um, I'm trying to limit as much as I, you know, trying to limit the news. I want to stay informed, but I can't be on my phone all day looking at the horror that is unfolding globally. Yeah. So I like, I've been trying to to be on my phone less. Uh, I've been gardening, reading, watching movies and TV shows, listening to podcasts, cooking a lot. Oh, I'm coming to your house. We don't cook it right. right. <laughs> <laughs> what have you been cooking? <laughs> Everything. Um, hold on. I feel like there's a bad noise. Okay. Um, I've been cooking lots of vegetables because I'm trying to be as healthy as possible and keep my immune system uh, healthy. I have been cooking, last night we made pasta with pesto and sauteed spinach and beans with a little bit of, or uh, with peas with bacon. And I've made some roast chickens and lots of salads and soups. I made a kale charred bacon soup. I got bacon, it's like the one piece of meat I got Oh my gosh, I did the same thing. I, I did, tried not to be a hoarder, but I was like, well, I, I can't not have bacon. <laughs> yeah, I've been real, I bought an extra freezer on Amazon. So I have like bread and chicken stock that I made and one piece of salmon and cookie dough in my extra <laughs> freezer. Very nice. At, at um, what point did were you were you still in production and did things shut down or at, at what point did your life kind of you know hit this like oh this is this COVID nineteen thing is really happening and here's how my life is changing. 
Well, I had finished the series in January, and so I've just been doing press. I was actually in New York. I was supposed to do Seth Meyers, and um, it got canceled. And then uh, my boyfriend was living in New York working on a film, and his project got put on hold. And I was like, I need to go back to LA. I just want to be, when this gets really crazy, I don't want to be stuck in New York for months. I'd rather be stuck in my house in LA. And I haven't been here for eight months because of... Uh, working on the show and then traveling for press. The longest I had been here was like one week at a time. So I'm now back home, which is really nice. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm ex I feel extremely lucky that uh, the job was over, you know, and if when the show comes back, fingers crossed, it'll be in the fall. So I'm ready to hunker down. I'm glad that you guys still can do your job. Yes, yeah, it's uh, it's been interesting. We are uh, definitely much more used to being together, uh, and you know our our podcast got it started uh, out of friendship, and so the the women typically there's about three to five different kind of nerdy girls who are with us, um, and so you know I mean it's sitting in our living room and and talking about life and talking about shows that we're watching and just. You know, really encouraging other girls and you know anyone who's who's kind of nerdy or has a passion about something to know that you know we're your friends and we're talking about the same things. So um, it was a, not going to lie, Jane. It was a little rocky our first episode. If you happen to decide you want to check out the kind of nerdy girls, uh, episode sixty-five was our first attempt at quarantine podcasting. Not great. <laughs> Go to 66. Uh, Don't go to 65. Just go to 65. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is, we're recording right now, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the real deal. This is kind of how we do things. We don't uh, have like, hey, here we are, and now get into show mode. Um, this is just really, hey, here we are. Uh, so I, I are you are you alone? Are you in like? Do you have any pets? Or and now I'm worried that you're just like gonna sit in your house all by yourself. Do you need? No, friends? I have. I, I live with my boyfriend, and he's here with me. Oh, okay. and I have a cat. Oh, you do. Oh, I have five cats. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I'm not alone at all. As a matter of fact, they're like ready to to ship me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> they're like seriously, woman, leave. Uh, so let's talk about the the show for people who may be uh, you know new to it and definitely looking for a binge right now. I. Uh, I feel like, number one, I have to thank you, Jonna, for reminding me because I had seen the pilot when it was out on YouTube, and I was like, oh, yay, you know, the, Jane, I love her, and Suburgatory, and, and they're singing, and this is going to be great, and then Jonna, you know, reminded me, like, hey, you should be watching this, but what a, uh, I feel like it's such a perfect show right now for people who are looking for something because it has... Uh, it, it has so much emotion and is built so much on relationships and family. And then it has this amazing uh, soundtrack that goes with it that it, it's, is so much fun to be a part of. So I guess from your standpoint, if you were to describe the show to someone who uh, hasn't seen it before, uh, how, do you, how do you invite them into the world of Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist? Our show is a, 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 our show tells the story about a young woman um, in San Francisco, but it's also a fantastical reality because it involves uh, superpowers. This young woman is a coder and she is, we meet her at a really tricky time in her life where she's dealing with a lot of fear and pain over the possibility of losing her father who's been diagnosed with a rare neurological condition. And she is a neurotic young lady. And so she goes to get an MRI because she's worried that maybe she has the same thing that her father has. She's been suffering headaches, could be from stress. Maybe it's from this condition called PSP. And while she's in the MRI, um, San Francisco suffers an earthquake. And when she leaves the doctor's office, she can suddenly hear people's innermost thoughts and feelings uh, expressed through song and dance. I wish that would happen to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
I mean, after, I mean, obviously you, uh, you have finished production, so you know, uh, you know, the, the entire story here of the first season, but uh, I mean, at this point in, in, uh, in living through Zoe's life, Jane, would you want to have this superpower? I personally would not. Um, I think it would be a burden and I, you know, I think people should be, um, to be able to have privacy, you know, yeah. <laughs> Especially in your own head. So there's, you know, you can't really help what you think and what you think is not meant to be heard by anybody, I think. Well, and also my singing should not be heard by <laughs> <laughs> not at all. Uh, and uh, speaking of the, the singing, so we've been, uh, you know, watching a lot of people, uh, you know, singing to to Zoe. But uh, on Sunday's episode, things are going to be turned around a little bit, uh, and and you're doing all the singing, I hear. Yes. So Zoe received some really stressful news. Um, at the beginning of the episode and there's a glitch in her power wherein um, Zoe starts to sing all of her heart songs to everyone around her. And normally when people sing to her, she's the only one who can hear it. But when she sings out loud, everyone can hear it. So oh. she basically ruins her life in 24 hours because <laughs> she sings her secrets and desires and fears to everybody she comes across. Oh no. I'm yeah. stressed already. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is it like on the, for you on the, on the set when you are uh, much more used to sort of being the observer of all of these incredible musical numbers and then all of a sudden you're the, you know, you're the, you're the focus, you're in the spotlight. Um, it was really nerve wracking. I was really scared of doing this episode because six song and dance numbers requires a lot of preparation and that's time that we didn't have, especially because I am in basically every scene of this entire series. So, and the TV schedule is already grueling and so quick. So we, um, I, there was just insane anticipatory stress and fear about this episode. But when we actually did it, it was so much fun and ultimately really fulfilling and I'm really proud of it and I'm I'm so excited for the audiences to see it. We're, we're really excited too so uh, Sunday night is when we will see this episode for the first time and uh, you know it, it it's really cool kind of following the the success and how this particular show is is growing uh you know it, like i you know i found it on youtube i know john is watching it on on hulu um do you find that you know your uh your viewing has has changed a bit too as we're uh you know into this uh this world where there's so many different ways to to communicate and get entertainment yeah, I mean, I don't think at any point in my adult life I've paid for cable. Like, I don't have the channels on my TV. I've always just had a TV and a Roku box or an Apple TV or a Amazon Fire. So that's the way I've always viewed content since I've had my own place. Um, and I think it's great, personally. I mean, I know there's complications and uh, things to be worked out, but... I love it. Well, I uh, am one of those people that I'm a I'm an entertainment junkie and uh, still plugged in, uh, and so I will watch things on, uh, you know, on on demand and on Hulu and on Netflix and everywhere that it is. But when I really love something, I make sure that I'm watching it live, or we have the TV on, or we watch it in the 24 hours so that you can get, you know, that viewership while we're trying to figure out this technology to cut to like really catch up on who's really watching everything. So I want you to know that that uh, I've got. I've got Zoe's extraordinary playlist, not only set up to record, but I have a you know a timer in my phone to remind me, hey, this is when it's on. Make sure that you are actually watching it, so we can <laughs> we can That's get a second season. Thank you. 
so uh, as we you know move forward uh, in the in the next uh, a few weeks, uh, I, I just want to you know say thank you for taking the time to do what you're doing right now. Um, I think you know seeing people and connecting uh, to to humans in whatever way we can. Uh, is so important and having the opportunity to connect with you and hear a little bit more about the amazing work that you're doing with uh, this truly extraordinary show uh, really means a lot to uh, to all of us to uh, feel this connection to to you and know that we're we're it, we're in this together. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Uh, would you mind just like uh, giving us, a, this won't be, you don't have to look into the camera if you don't want, this will be something that we record just for audio and just like introduce yourself and say, you're listening to the Kinda Nerdy Girls podcast. Hi, I'm Jane Levy and you are listening to the Kind of Nerdy Girl podcast. Should yeah. I say kinda? Kinda, yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> Hi, I am Jane Levy, and you're listening to the Kind of Nerdy Girls podcast. And I hope soon you'll be listening to Jane. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. Very nice, nice to, meet to meet you. Thank you so much. Good luck with the rest of your day. Yeah. All right. Bye bye. Hi. All right. What do you think, Jana? She's so nice. She's so uh, cute. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know if you wanted me to come to you at, at some yeah. point. I'm fine. You know, I'm not the interviewer in the relationship. Yeah. You're the girl. <laughs> I'm not the interviewer. I'm the uh, the comedic relief. <laughs> yeah. Did I do okay? I, you know, I, 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 my, uh, my heart beats a thousand beats a minute, and my stomach feels all gross. No matter how many times we do interviews, I feel like <laughs> I stuck at it. So, I hope Jane didn't hang up and be like, "Wow, they really sucked at that." <laughs> <laughs> I also hope that, but I think I think it was good. Um, is there anything else people should know about, about this show? I didn't want to, you know what, Jonna, I didn't want to ask about the cast because I always feel weird when we're talking to somebody and I say, tell me about all the other cool people on the show. <laughs> <laughs> I get that. <laughs> uh, but who are, who are some of the people that stand out to you? Cause this is a really, it is a really cool cast. It is. Um, there's Lauren Graham, as we all know, from Gilmore Girls. Yeah. Um, and she's, I just love her so much, no matter what she's in. I, I can't not love her. Like, I just and the first her. time she got to sing, I'm like, ah! I know. Lauren Graham, and she's singing. <laughs> and they're so dramatic with their singing, too. It just makes me so happy. Yes, um, yeah. And then if anyone out there has seen a little movie called Pitch Perfect, is that where Max is from? Mm -hmm. Skylar okay. Aspen. Yep. He's from Pitch Perfect. Driving me crazy. <laughs> I'm like, I know this guy, but I don't know what, I'm not the person who will stop. Like, I, uh, Katie, if she's watching something and she, it's bugging her that she knows who they are, but she, she'll like stop <laughs> and go to IMDb. My, you know, Patches does the same thing. I just keep torturing myself with like, <laughs> I'm gonna figure out who this is and I'm not gonna ask Google for help <laughs> but yeah he's so lovely in this I love Skylar Aston. yeah he's so roommate cool. in college was obsessed with him oh really yeah like after she saw Pitch Perfect she's like I just love him so much she watched like everything he was ever in well um a, a couple of other people who are in it uh that I was super excited about did you watch uh did you watch Bones Yes. The the guy that played the super creepy serial killer. Remember they got the guy that like remember when Bones it, when they got buried in the car? Yes. Like that guy? Right? That guy. He's her brother in the show. And I can't I'm like, <laughs> Oh man. It took me like <laughs> several episodes to be like, he is so terrifying to me. No. And I'm like no, at some point he's gonna kill her. Like I can't. Oh, no. <laughs> so I appreciate that he's doing a, 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 he's doing his job as an actor and being someone totally different yeah. from the creep in Bones. <laughs> um, and I have to look it up. But her mom is um, she plays the mom in Step Brothers. Oh yeah. Uh, 
name? Mary Steinbergen. Mary Steinbergen. Is that her name? Yeah. 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 I think I, I might be butchering how to pronounce it. But yeah, she's she's fan she's fantastic in it. And then uh, uh, her dad, whoever her dad is. That's uh David Gallagher. He was in oh what was the movie with Sandra Bullock he was in? Yeah, see, this is why we're kind of nerdy. Um, Peter Gallagher. Hang on, wait. I'm going to look. Uh, because I've seen him in so much stuff, and when I saw him, I was like, oh my God, that's that guy. He was in the, I, he was in while the, while you were sleeping. Oh, uh, what's that? While you were sleeping. Oh, yes, while you were sleeping. And then he was, he was also in the, the OC. Mm -hmm. uh, he was in Mr. Deeds with Adam Sandler. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. You know, um, I, I, I really did. I didn't want to hit on the, like, you know, the whole, you know, you, this is a really great show for us, Jane, because John and I both have dead dads. And, <laughs> <laughs> and, and having, having been through the emotional turmoil of watching your dad die, this is a great show. <laughs> can, you, can you please tell me why I was thinking the exact same thing the whole time? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't know how to bring up. But John and I are, are especially connected to your show because our dads are dead. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I was thinking, this, like, every episode where, like, her dad, like, she's just, like, sitting there, like, watching her dad, and she gets, like, all, like, sad and nostalgic. I'm like, yo, same. But, yes. like, there's no way to just be like, hey, by the way. <laughs> right? I know. I know. So there was no way to bring that up to her. There was no way for me to, uh, uh, you know, be like, Man, did you watch Gilmore Girls? Because I love that Lauren Graham. <laughs> <laughs> did you watch Perfect? Perfect? Because goodness. Yeah. Uh, so I hope that, you know, as you were uh, watching us, uh, you know, chat with Jane and learn, learn a little more about the show uh, and then watching us chat about it after the fact when we were like, okay, she's gone. Now let's really talk about the show. <laughs> uh, that you will consider adding it to uh, a, a binge because I, I wasn't, I really was, I wasn't just saying things to like pump up Jane because she was here. I do think it's a, it's a great show to watch right now if you're looking for something that's got a lot of feeling but also is a lot of fun. Um, yeah. Right? It's a drama but in a way that, you know, connects you to songs that you know you know when her when her brother and his wife were singing the the pink duet oh yeah just give me a reason i can't tell you like because like you know working at the radio station you know every single song ever and so every time a song comes on i'm just like laying in my bed like singing along and i'm like no you have to let the people on the tv sing it you don't always have to sing right and it's you know and you're like oh i love this song but then you're watching the scene that's giving it a whole new context mm -hmm. it's just i i would love a second season of this show and mm -hmm. i i am hopeful as crazy as things are for you know all of hollywood and and tv and, and movies right now that some of these shows um uh that are unique and fun and uh you know will make you escape and and feel great about doing it will will kind of come to light and and see some success yeah. uh while they're you know sitting there waiting because like i mean this is their job and now who knows what will there be a fall season you know i mean when so can they so. go back to work i mean it it's amazing how like normalized everything has become to where it's like no one knows you know am I going to be able to get bacon? <laughs> you know? yeah, and I'm sure it's super stressful for them too, because that's their bread and butter, like yeah. literally. Yeah. So like, okay, am I going to be getting a job soon? You know? Right. Like, right. We're, we're all, we're all in this together. So uh, what are you going to do when we hang up, Jonna? Um, well, I need to find something else to catch up on. I caught up on um, good girls. I caught up on good trouble yesterday. Cried a lot. That was cool. Um, What's Good Trouble? It's a show on ABC, not ABC. I keep wanting to call it ABC Family, and that's not what it's called anymore. Um, Freeform. Uh, it hasn't been ABC Family for, like, three I know. Years. But it was, <laughs> it was ABC Family my whole life. Like, yeah, so I just, I'm so used to calling it. But um, there was a show on ABC Family when it was ABC Family called The Fosters. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was about this lesbian couple who, um, adopted all of these children and it's just like how their lives changed once they got adopted and like, 
you know, problems and drama and stuff. Yeah. Um, but Good Trouble is a spinoff of The Fosters. It's the two daughters from The Fosters living in Los New York or Los Angeles. I think it's New York. They live in like New York City and they're, they're very different cities. I know. I think it's New York City. Um, and Are there they, a lot of beaches in the show or a lot of tall No, buildings? there's not. So I'm pretty sure it's New York City. Um, <laughs> and they live in a communal, um, like a communal based um, apartment complex. So they have to share like bathrooms and like refrigerators and stuff like that. And they're just, one of them's a lawyer and one of them works for a tech company and like all the drama that goes with, you know, being like a liberal type lawyer and being a female at a huge tech company. Very good. It's cool. really good. All right. Hey, you said you were looking for something to watch. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Well, I will tell you that when I got in the oh, shower. Yeah, let, me, oh, let me show you. Uh, oh, show me. Uh, well, when I got in the shower last night, I was like, man, maybe I should watch Buffy tomorrow. Man, maybe you should watch Buffy tomorrow. <laughs> one of my coworkers, I got Buffy. I tell you what, you're gonna love Giles. Giles is like the coolest dude. Like you just want to make Giles uh, happy. Like you want to make him proud. Uh, you <laughs> love Giles so much. So here we go. My pick for you today, Jonna. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Okay, I guess I'll have to get. <laughs> get started on Buffy because I was I was literally thinking about it last night I was like man you know maybe I need to watch something that won't make me cry because I mean you know, Zoe's extraordinary playlist I start crying sometimes I'm like damn am I okay like goodness yeah now I uh I, I will fully admit that if the first season of Buffy you're like I'm not sure that I'm into this because think about how long ago it was made and some of the you know effects are super cheesy um that if you need to maybe start like you there are some episodes you can skip when they really start getting into the buffy angel relationship is when you're gonna be like oh yeah this i'm digging this uh because then in the second season there's that's really kind of how things start to um come together and then the third season they introduce Faith who's played by Eliza Dushku and she's freaking awesome <laughs> like you she's a character that you love and hate and love and hate um she, she's so just Logan kind of, from Veronica Mars yes cool. yes yes very much like that Does so, she die can you just tell me uh no no because yeah. I can't handle another heartbreak I honestly can't I just yeah I, I'm still sad about Logan, honestly. <laughs> she is, yeah, 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 spoilers, Veronica Mars, sorry. <laughs> um, no, she just has a really um, complicated uh, a sense of, uh, sense of humanity, like, she's, she's had a complicated life, and so, you know, you, what happens is you, you watch her do things that are just terrible, but you have this instinct to still want to protect her because you know that she's been driven to this darkness um but then you're so mad at her because like you could be better than that uh, <laughs> and then she'll get better than that and you're like hey yeah this is this is it faith you're and then something happens and you're like oh here we go again oh uh, right. so it's like sam on demon blood yes yes <laughs> <laughs> uh but it's funny you know it's set in high school so there's uh you know it's yes like, yeah. High school drama. Yeah, so <laughs> plenty, of, plenty of high school drama and then it goes into college and you get the college drama and and then Angel the spinoff is kind of like the you know grown-up world uh, version of Buffy because eventually Angel has to you know he has to go he's hundreds of years old and he can't have a, a teenage girlfriend right like you know that's not gonna work <laughs> So, <laughs> so he moves to Los Angeles to be a grown up. Uh, and so that's the spinoff that, um, so there, there's just so much goodness and, uh, and, and amazing relationships and, and drama and, and it, you kind of forget that the monsters really start to represent more of like themes in real life as opposed to like what monster is it this week. Oh. So, you know, it has to start off with like the monster of the week type episodes to kind of get you into it. But uh, it's it, it's just so much fun. And Willow's story, you'll love Willow. Willow's so great. That's Allison Hannigan. Um, she's 
fantastic. So, <laughs> all right. Well, that's, a, I can go on and on about Buffy, but yeah, I, you can. I, <laughs> yeah, I can. <laughs> <laughs> uh so uh, yeah i would love for you to start watching it that's my uh mission to you today your your quarantine mission get on it girl thanks okay. for being here uh and supporting me through you know my uh interviews that i'm always like yeah i'll do that and then i'm sitting there going man i stuck at this why am i doing this <laughs> that's okay i am the uh in college i i uh queened myself the supportive friend oh so anytime my friends were like doing a band concert or putting on something, like, will you come to this? I'm like, I sure will. I will definitely be there just for you. Had I melted down, did you have a question ready? Yes. Have I, because we talked about this like pre-show stuff. Had I, I melted like, down. <laughs> yeah, I was like, Jana, if at any point I go, Jana, that means I am freezing up for some reason and I am panicked. <laughs> And you need to be ready with a question. So had I, I at, there were a few points where I thought, I'm, and then I was like, I'm going to be a big, brave girl. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to go, Jana? <laughs> but had I, had I gone, Jana, what would you have said? Um, just, you know, how different is it to, you know, be working on a show where there's so many dance numbers and where you have to just stand there and watch, like, you can't do anything you you know all the words and you know all the steps because you've seen it a million times but like how is it that you don't just crack up because honestly if people started singing and dancing right in front of me i would die laughing yes because it's just something yes, that you that's can't. a great question dang it i should have went to you well you know what we'll um we'll tweet this out and then uh maybe jane will see it and i'll say we forgot to ask you something it's very important <laughs> Please the respond. most important question <laughs> ever but she was so nice and i think it was probably good that you didn't like melt down either because she didn't seem like she was like over like okay like you guys can be done at any time now right okay, uh, okay. well good well thank you uh, i appreciate you uh you know being my being my hype girl <laughs> all right go watch buffy i will <laughs> And thank you to everybody who uh, has watched this, listened to it. Uh, kind of Nerdy Girls is our show, and uh, we are on all the you know podcast app and uh, apps and uh, and and YouTube. Maybe you're watching this on YouTube. Yay! Yay! Uh, I uh, did my hair and brushed my teeth for you guys. I know. I did. <laughs> I, I did too. And you know, I put a scarf on to give me some color. To, I have a shirt with a pineapple, pineapple on it. Oh, a nice! On this is. This is a pajama top. I was <laughs> like, well, just put this nice scarf on. <laughs> I never would have guessed that, that was a pajama top. Oh, thank you. I, I have only the finest pajama tops. This is one of the few that doesn't have caps on it. So that's, a, or Captain America. Or, you know. <laughs> All right. Well, until we speak again, uh, stay safe, stay healthy, stay kind of nerdy. And, I love you guys. Uh, we love you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.